guys welcome back to another video today guys i have a subscriber request right here this is some kale one of my subscribers wanted me to make a video showing how i cook my kale and i do have a kale video already but we're gonna jump into this video and i'm gonna show you how i cook this particular kale okay guys so for this recipe right here i have me some kale already and i just kind of Wash those off a little just to make sure there wasn't any dirt on them. And I have me some thick sliced bacon. Now, if you don't want to use pork bacon, guys, I guess you could use turkey bacon. Or they do have beef bacon also. And I'm going to use a little black pepper, a little onion powder, and a little chicken bouillon to give this a little flavor. Alrighty, guys. So first things first, I got a few slices of my bacon cut into little squares just like this and we are just gonna let this render down inside of my frying pan here didn't add any extra oil or anything to it this bacon is gonna give off enough uh, fat for me to do what I wanted to do so we're just gonna try to get these as flat against the pan of my surface here, the surface of my pan, get it together, get it. All right, and after a couple of minutes, you can see that they are rendering down pretty good, releasing all of that excess fat. But I do want these to cook just a couple minutes more, so I'm just going to try to flip these as much as possible. I'm not going to be able to flip all of it. But I'm just going to let those continue to render down for another couple of minutes. All right, and after a couple of minutes, you can see that it gave off a little bit more of that fat. And I'm not going to use all of this. So you can see how much it gave off. So I'm going to pull some of this off. And then I'm going to use that in another recipe. So now I just have my bacon in here now and a little bit of that fat left off. Now I'm coming in and adding, this is just two cups of water. And once I get that water added, then I'm going to season it up so that our stock will be nice and flavorful. I'm just going to add, add, oh God, <laughs> add a little black pepper to it. And I'm going to add a little onion powder. You could add anything that you would like in this, guys. I know a lot of people that love uh, red pepper flakes inside of there, like collard greens and kale and stuff like that. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of this chicken bouillon because that bacon is salty already. So we don't want to overdo it. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and we're going to just give that a mix. Get all of those seasonings mixed in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and give it a taste first just to see how my seasonings are. And then once I give it a taste, I'm just going to let it come up to a kind of a light simmer. Just like this right here. And once I get it to this point, then I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my kale inside of here. And these are going to wilt down pretty good, guys. So I'll just get some of it in first. And then I'm going to just come with my spoon and just press it down a little bit inside of that broth. And then once I get those cooked down just a little bit, I'll come in and add the rest to it. All right, so you can see that this has wilted down just a little bit. Now that's going to allow me enough room to add the rest of it inside of here. All right, so once I got all of that in, then I'm just going to come with my top and just put a top on this. 
and let this cook for about 10 minutes and then I'll be back to check it and see where I'm at. Okay guys, so I am back after about 10 minutes. I let this just kind of simmer down a little bit and I'm going to give this a nice mix. And you can see it does have some stem in it and I'm not a real big fan of the stems because I find them to be a little bit bitter sometimes, but I spent a couple of minutes just kind of picking the really huge ones out. But this is looking good, not done, not yet. So what I did is I just covered it back, let it go for another 10 minutes. And you're gonna see now that the color has changed to like a darker green. So that lets me know that it's getting to the point where I want it to be. I normally let this cook for about 30 minutes before it reaches the tenderness that I like. Because sometimes kale could be a little bit chewy. But this is almost to the point that I like. So I did cover it back one more time. And I did taste it also in seasoning. Everything was perfect. So I just covered it back. Let it go for another 10 minutes. And after about 30 minutes cooking time, this is what I ended up with right here. You see that my broth has reduced just a little bit. It has a lot of nice flavor. This thing was so flavorful. Just from that bacon and chicken bouillon powder and onion pepper. Onion pepper. <laughs> I might need to market that. <laughs> onion powder it was nice and tender guys so we're gonna go ahead and just plate this thing up and i am gonna give this a taste test for you guys take my thumbnails and my videos and then i am gonna be back with a taste test this came out really really good guys just some nice tender kill Alright, alright guys, coming in with a real quick taste test here. This is some nice good kale with bacon in it. We aren't going to waste any time getting right into this thing. It's still nice and hot. Mm. I need a piece of that bacon. Look at all that pot liquor down in there. So hot. All right, go give this a try. Don't want to burn my mouth up. Nice and tender. Mm -hmm. Nice flavor from that bouillon and that bacon. Mm -hmm. I definitely need to try this. Mm. Going in again. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys. Alrighty guys, I absolutely love kale, and this came out absolutely delicious. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Also subscribe to my channel if you are new, and if you could please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch TV, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny, and I most definitely will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget the hashtag guys, pray for love and peace.